guys, we're going to kick it off with the grating of some cheeses. So we're going to make a blend, one orange cheddar, and then we're also going to bring in the four-year aged white cheddar. So just get that blended up, uh, spin it up, and then we're going to cut up some green onion, as you can see, and then a little pepperoncini. I want some spice in this dish to kind of balance the sweetness and the richness. If you didn't know, I cooked motherfucking candy bacon, so that's got black pepper, maple syrup, and brown sugar on it. Boom, that shit is done. It is amazing, so delicious. So let's let that chill. Next, we're gonna hit the rye bread. Lay the cheese on top first, then bring in the rest of your ingredients. Those are gonna melt right into that cheese. Stay, stay nestled in their home like a newborn bird. That thing is gonna be nice. Bring in the bacon, put the roof on the home. Give them a blanket, give them heat. Look at it, look at that thing of beauty. It is unbelievable, right? Okay, it doesn't stop there. We're hitting it with goat cheese. Guys, three cheeses in this thing. That goat cheese is gonna be so creamy and delicious. Butter, one side only, this is tips. Take this shit into account. That's gonna be like adhesive. Lay that cheese on top and uh, then pop it in the pan. Be fast with your movements, you can't hesitate. Now that that's cooking on that side, butter the other side. You get it. Do it again. Lay that cheese one more time. Then pat it down. Get it nice and uh, stuck. And then again, flip. Commit to your flip. Commit. Look at that cheese crust. That thing is beautiful. Pop that soup in. Little tomato and green onion that I made. Boom. Sandwiches down. Homemade pickles. Those things are secret, so don't even ask. Next, goldfish. Put a couple in the tank. A couple on dry land. Yo, guys, what's good, Lud? Bringing you guys another uh, ASMR video with a cooking tutorial start. Pretty self-explanatory. You saw just what happened, so I'm not really going to go over it. Insane where I am right now. It's well, I'm in Canada, so it's always crazy in the winter, but um, it's just that perfect mixture of cold enough that the rain that's coming down is freezing, so there's literally like like ice puddles and freezing rain, like a inch inch thick on the road, and like. icicles hanging off cars and shit so it's like a windy terrible day i was coming home from work in rush hour i got a soaker in my fucking shoe just like i got in i was so like torn up by the weather that i was like i need a classic like comfort food meal so that's what this is to me a little bit of a gourmetish take on it but yeah anyways let's not dick around let's get into it just going to pour a uh, soda and then we'll get going. Shout out Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one time. Also, that pop is Canada's ghetto version of Dr. Pepper. It's called Pop. Dr. Zip. Okay, I gotta get into the sandwich, I think. this cheese crust. Actually, I'll cut it and then I'll do uh, the cheese crust. So let's see if we can see all those ingredients there. Yeah. That 
cheese crust dough. Let's get a bite.
I just thought there needed to be a little bit of heat playing against the richness and the sweetness of everything. This is hands down one of the best grilled cheese sandwiches, if not sandwiches, I've ever had. sandwich, a nice dirty burger, that steak sandwich that I made, shit like that, that'd be awesome, just for ASMR sake, As you guys might have guessed by now, I work in the food service industry. I'm around food all the time. But no, I am not a chef. I love cooking, but they just don't get paid enough. <laughs> to do anything chef related I would just want to do it for myself
So instead I work front of house. Bartending and surfing. So that I can make enough money that I can cook delicious food. For myself. And pay my bills and have a life and... server and bartender also comes with uh, a little bit of a stigma that I feel like if you say I'm a cook or I'm a chef it doesn't really attach itself like if you're a cook or a chef people kind of respect you more they're like oh that's like a that's a skill that's a talent It's something that's, you know, a little more respected. But if you're a server, in, in society, which is bullshit because it's not that uh, easy of a job. Sure, it's not like super complicated in terms of like insane amount of brain power, but it is uh, relatively difficult to work a lot of times you're seen as some sort of a some sort of you're stupid or you're a failure failure or you have no skills So if you work a serving job or anything like that, just know that you're you're not a piece of shit. <laughs> that goes for anybody doing anything. It's like we have to make money to serve, to survive, and sometimes you're in a situation where you're just you have to make the best of it, and you might have to work a job that is considered. If that's what you gotta do to survive, that power to you, and also, your job doesn't define who you are. Your job is just what you do. <laughs> 